Hi everybody, uh, so today's the day we're going to give you a, a, an update on where we are with factory productions etc uh, from Volkswagen. So we've had some information uh, in the last day or two uh, from Volkswagen uh, to share with you. Now I know people that, uh, I know people who've watched the videos before uh, would have seen our previous video regarding this uh, where it talked about uh, customers having numbers where you were in a queue system. Uh, none of this has changed so we've got a new list uh, with a, uh, a new queue position that's in there. Um, you've got new numbers and the, the reason for that is obviously because some vehicles have been produced uh, so obviously those those have dropped off the list so in theory your people have moved up the numbers uh, that's on the list as well but I kind of today just wanted to give you a bit of a background into it as well uh, explain some of the things I know there's going to be a lot of questions that are going to be out there you know we're getting a lot of phone calls from our customers and, and other people's customers asking us uh, where we're up to so I kind of just want to give you a bit of a background to it uh, explain what's uh, what's happening what's going forward what kind of time scales we're involved with uh, on new orders and things like that and it's just really just to get that information out there uh, to you uh, and, uh, and and let you know what's what's happening so uh, first things first a bit like a bit of housekeeping rules on here as well so um, obviously uh, we work here we work in partnership with Volkswagen commercial vehicles uh, I work uh, obviously at the Van Centre here in Liverpool uh, I work for Swansway Garages it's on the top that's on here as well uh, so I'm not an official spokesman for Volkswagen uh, in any means at all um, I don't get any special inside knowledge or anything like that um, uh, as some people would sometimes suggest <laughs> that's there um, I don't get anything uh, like that at all so all the information we give you is what's uh, been passed to us to pass on to customers so uh, and obviously the, you know there will be things which we're not uh, we're not aware of that are happening in the background uh, which obviously you know uh, are not uh, not discussed uh, it's to give you an update on where we are so I said I'm, I'm not a spokesman for Volkswagen there's no link there they haven't asked us to do any of this or, or to give you the update but this information that's come from them recently so just wanted to clarify that with you because these are my personal opinions so if I give you my opinion on something it, it's for me uh, that's on here it's not uh, not a Volkswagen opinion or anything like that so please um, you know don't uh, uh, don't take it as being that that's where it is because you know things change on a very very quick basis uh, you know we, we did a video recently uh, on updates from on there as well and within you know a short period of time there was some more information coming as well so as you can appreciate there's a bit of a lag between when we film uh, and when we uh, uh, and when we actually release the videos as well this video should go live pretty much straight away after we've uh, after we've done this within a couple of days anyway so anyway so we've got a new list uh, we've got a new list that's uh, with us that's here uh, so our top customer let's say that's on that list is at position number 12 uh, where previously when we had the last list which was beginning in February uh, that uh, that queue position that same customer is actually at 71 uh, so they've, they've moved up that kind of gives you the idea of they've moved up the uh, the rankings as, as other people's vehicles that have been ordered before have got produced and uh, and gone through the factory um, but I think previous the last time I did it I think we were around the 300 mark as our final one uh, to give you an idea now we're at 625 is our last uh, number that we've got on our list uh, so far uh, and the intention is uh, so I've been informed that these lists are going to come out on a little bit more regular basis I'm hoping we're going to get one of these maybe every every four to five weeks so uh, obviously from our perspective from here in the next couple of days uh, up to a week we're going to be contacting every single one of our customers to let you know what number you are in that in that queue system um, and to let you know what's actually happening with your vehicle um, so just to get into the nitty-gritty because obviously this applies to wherever you might be uh, wherever you've ordered it from, whether it be Liverpool, whether it be another another dealer that's on there as well. So you'll have a position in this queue which is determined basically when your vehicle is going to get built. So anything which is in May or June production builds will know where they are. And the simple reason for that is uh, the way that a production schedule works. Uh, so especially it works within the, the Volkswagen range or within, pretty much with anyone that's on there. Obviously you, you get given uh, your production capacity, what you can actually produce, uh, and then you plan your production uh, on that basis. Uh, obviously with ourselves we do it on a, on a half year basis so uh, the first half of the year we you need to know how many numbers, what numbers are going through the factory. So everything that's got an update on this list is in bearing is up to May and June uh, productions. These are when the actual vehicles are going to start to be built in the factory. So bearing in mind that that will then take four to six weeks after that date uh, for that vehicle then to arrive with us actually on site. Uh, and there is a few little differences between there as well as I know that there's some restrictions on parts uh, which individual customers will be contacted individually about those. Uh, it's mainly things, the two big ones that I've seen that are on there, uh, tow bars, there's a, there's a 
uh, a big shortage of tow bars um, and, and that's generally everywhere. We, we're we struggling to get tow bars for customers that are in the workshop so uh, it's the same thing at the factory as well so I think that's there. Uh, and tyre pressure monitoring, uh, the direct system as well seems to be an issue uh, that's there as well. Uh, but with those customers you're going to get a call from us for example if you're one of our customers and you've got that we'll be phoning you to say look uh, if, you, if you take these things off your order, uh, your vehicle will probably get built in May. Uh, if you uh, don't and you leave them on, it's estimated to be June. Uh, but that is an estimation of June, assuming those parts come through. Uh, so it'll be up to you as a customer to decide whether you want to keep them, uh, keep that order on uh, with those particular ones or whether you want to take them off your order uh, and then you know you're going to get your vehicle built in June, so you'll probably, uh, sorry, in May, and you'll probably get it in June. I hope that kind of makes sense for you. So those are the ones that are at the, the front of the queue, let's say, because they're the ones that are going to get built in May and June. Uh, and then for the H2, so the half year two, so the second half of the year, uh, they're still working on the actual uh, definitive number of production slots. Obviously they'll have an estimate now, uh, but they haven't got the exact numbers. It's not actually been agreed what the exact numbers are for, uh, for those that's coming through. So um, what they're going to do basically is in about four weeks time, uh, approximately, don't phone us and say you've not had it for five, five weeks in, uh, they'll have those numbers confirmed uh, and then they'll be able to say right okay well numbers 300 to 400 or whatever the case is they're going to get built in, in, in July, these are going to get built in August, these are going to get built in September, these are going to get built in, in October. Um, there's no point uh, at the moment working off estimate, uh, on estimated figures. Um, I'm very much a believer in let's give you the information that we have that's best current at the time. So uh, I'm, I'm a true believer that Volkswagen doing the right thing here. Uh, rather than just saying we estimate it's going to be in July, let's wait until it's concrete. We know how many numbers they've got and then they can give you the update based on that to say where, it, where it's coming from. So, um, so anybody that's in that second batch will be telling you that it's, uh, it's going to get built in, in H2. Obviously, you can probably give it yourself a little get a bit, bit of a guide if you think, well, you know, I'm position number X in the queue. Um, so that's, you know, we can probably gauge where we think that's going to come through. But at the end of the day, let's wait until we've got that information that says, yes, we're looking to build your vehicle in this month. Now, under normal circumstances, as I said in the last video, we'd have a build week uh, of when your actual vehicle was going to go into, uh, into build. At this point in time, when we're this far away, we've just got a month which your vehicle is going to go into build. So it could go in the beginning of May, it could be the end of May, and that is going to have a time effect. Uh, as it comes out but at the moment in the current climate where we are um, that's as good as information of which we've got uh, so we don't know anything more than that um, if you're once we get closer to those days uh, obviously then we probably will get a build week so we'll be able to give that information but that's when we're really getting closer to it our national systems that we normally use here uh, all this is being done in the background so it's not 100 percent accurate uh, with where the build weeks are as well um, so uh, it's really about where this list is and where this uh, where this list is coming out so I kind of just want to explain why we're in the position which we are um, and this hasn't come from Volkswagen this isn't that they've not told us we're in this position because of this or that uh, this is how you know from reading different things we've got a couple of things which are in play here uh, one is part shortages uh, which we've got and that's component shortages and that's not just affecting our industry it's affecting a lot of other industries and manufacturing industries but if you imagine a supply chain a supply chain itself especially within uh, the manufacturing of vehicles is it can be a very long and complicated uh, supply chain and there's things that for example they'll be ordering um, for vehicles that are being produced now that they may have ordered 12 months ago uh, the raw materials for those may have been ordered a long time before that as well and these things obviously gradually uh, are moving forward to the point where we are now uh, so previously, uh, well, well, the, uh, last year, this time last year, for example, uh, supply was still pretty good because all those materials were still there. We hadn't got the issues that we have with, uh, with the supply chain as we have now. Uh, so that's one of the things which is affecting uh, this that's there as well. Uh, social distancing at the factories uh, is affecting a lot of manufacturers. And again, not just Volkswagen here, I'm talking about all manufacturers here uh, in general. Obviously, they're getting to grips with uh, the social distancing, um, keeping people apart. Um, that's why they're doing the factory, changing the way in which they, uh, they work. Uh, breakouts at factories, uh, we've seen it here in the, in the United Kingdom, uh, where different manufacturing plants have been shut down for several weeks here there. Uh, it's been in the news, etc., about that as well, where obviously there's been an outbreak and they've had to close the factory. So it's things like that which are affecting um, the production. Uh, and then obviously one of the big things uh, for this is, is the amount of Californians which are currently on order. Uh, so we've seen a huge increase in California orders. Uh, you can see in the numbers, for example, on the numbers on the list. As I said, that's pretty much doubled. 
uh, since the numbers that we were looking at previously within our order bank. So that's because you know <coughs> people are looking at holiday in the UK more. People want uh, you know this, the camper van experience um, because you know they're not getting the experience elsewhere. They're not being able to go abroad. Uh, so as I said, that the order bank we have for these vehicles is huge compared to what it would normally be. Uh, at this time of year. Uh, so the last bit just to go over on this matter, obviously uh, you're going to get this information now, it's going to come from your dealers, uh, obviously if you bought it from us it'll come from us or wherever it's come from. Uh, you know, speak, speak to the people at the different centres, speak to us uh, about where your, your vehicle's up to, obviously we're going to give you that information that we've got currently. Uh, now if that doesn't suit you, um, uh, and I said this in the last video, uh, if you've got other plans, if you, for example, you've, you know, you ordered your vehicle four months ago uh, and it's not still going to be another two, three months uh, down the line before it comes through that. Also I can have said they're quite happily at no cost cancel uh, orders and obviously it's not what we want, it's not what Volkswagen want but obviously they understand that these lead times have, uh, have moved on uh, from when the last updates were and things like that so don't be afraid or don't worry if you know that's something with us you know for example with us we take deposits on vehicles obviously that will be you know refunded straight away if that was the case. Since the last update I've been honest, I don't think we've had any cancellations that have been due to the actual time wise uh, you know we have had a few cancellations but for other reasons, personal reasons and things, uh, which we get all the time as well. So with a bit of extra news, we've had a few people have asked about vehicles we've got in the showrooms, etc. You know, you seem to have a lot of Californias, can, can we buy one that's on there? Um, I'll be honest with you, everything we have in the showroom that you see, so what we're sitting in today, this is our showroom model. Uh, I have to have one in here because there's lots of you still coming in as we're open now to, to look at the vehicles. Uh, if I've got an empty showroom, uh, one, it doesn't look good and two, uh, I can't show you the vehicles then, we can't do these videos on the vehicles, so they're not building anything for our, our own stock generally. Uh, there's no demonstrators uh, that are being built, uh, there's no showroom vehicles that have been built. Uh, these are vehicles which I ordered a long time ago which have come in. If you are looking at California, um, one thing that's worth bearing in mind as well is, is things like, for example, the beach model. Uh, so the beach model is generally arriving a lot quicker than the ocean and the coast, and, and that's obviously due to the uptake because as a percentage we do less of those, uh, but there does seem to be a bit more capacity for those, so ones we're ordering, they do tend to be arriving a lot quicker. Uh, so that might be something you might be interested in if you're thinking about uh, if it's a beach that you particularly uh, want. Uh, and the Grand California, again, isn't in this list system. Uh, the beaches do have a list number. You do have a number for your beach. Uh, if you've got one on order, you get one from on those. Grand California is outside of this because that's built at a different factory. Uh, so what's coming up? Let's, um, let's talk about what's coming up in the near future. So we've got these things as well. Um, so obviously uh, here at home in the UK, uh, things are opening back up again. We've got, obviously we're going to be trying to be out and about in the, in the vehicles to bring you more content and more videos. Uh, we've got Camper Jam, which is the festival we do every year. It was cancelled last year because uh, of the pandemic. It's the first weekend in July. Uh, currently, as we speak today, uh, it's all going ahead. Um, obviously, the 21st of June is the date in which, uh, fingers crossed, everything goes to plan, everything will be back open again. Um, and if that's the case, obviously, with it being the beginning of July, the, fe uh, the festival, the camping weekend will be ahead. Uh, as always, uh, when we're there, we will be there. My full team will be there. I'll be there all weekend, the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so all remembers my team from here and our other dealerships. Uh, the plan at the moment is to have one of every model uh, that we have on display. Uh, so if you haven't had a chance to see particular vehicles uh, that's in there, maybe check out the website, have a look at it. It says it's called Camper Jam. Uh, just do an internet search, Google search, it'll bring it up. Uh, so I said we'll bring you more information as we get closer to that date uh, that's there but as I said our, our current thing is is we're going uh, full steam ahead as long as we're allowed to go uh, and we're going to try our very best to have the full uh, list of vehicles that are there so we're definitely going to have a coast definitely going to have a, uh, an ocean that's there as well we're going to try and get the beaches uh, get both versions of the Grand the 680 and the 600 uh, so you'll be able to see all the, the full range of the Volkswagen uh, campers uh, that's there as well. So it's something to look forward to uh, if you're going. If you had tickets previously, so if you had tickets from last year, I know those tickets have just been moved over to this year and I'm sure they've probably been in touch uh, to let you know where they are. Um, and then obviously there'll be other events probably coming up after that uh, as we go along throughout the year as well. Uh, obviously we've got the Caddy California, uh, that's coming up uh, quite soon as well. I think opening for ordering uh, very shortly. So lots of good stuff coming up. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I know it's been a lot of me talking to you. Uh, if there's any questions raised, pop them in the comments box below uh, and then we'll answer them on a Q&A session. I think it's easier then because it, you'll all get to know what those answers are. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, give us a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. It does help us out and we'll see you next time.